using a Google Doc can be one of the uh, most convenient and efficient ways of uh, collecting notes uh, when you're conferring with writers. So one thing you want to do is um, I want to show you some ins and outs of how to use this template in this um, multimedia text set. So if you click on the Google Doc template and open up um, uh, the document, you'll notice that it says template and it's a view only. First thing you need to do is select file and make a copy. Now it's no longer uh, mine, it is yours. And so uh, you can um, leave it, you don't want to call it um, copy of student. Oh well, actually let me scroll over to what this is. Copy of a template copy. You want to get rid of copy of, or you can name it whatever you like, and then click OK. So you're renaming your um, you're renaming it, uh, your document. And the first thing you need to do is to remember to change the share settings. Now, if you want to keep this just for yourself and you don't want to share it with anybody else, then you can keep those share settings locked up. Um, but if you do plan to share it either with a co-teacher or with parents or a student, then you're going to need to wait until this share button um, is available. There it goes and then um, click on this to change those share settings. And you probably want to leave that as a view only if you're going to share it with, um, with students so they can't change what you've written. So you'll notice on this document, now that you own it, you can change whatever you like. So you are free to, um, you know, kind of adapt it to the needs you have. All we've done is added tables on here and so you can change the size of the tables. Um, you'll see as you start writing in these text boxes that um, the table will expand and you can write a lot more. But if you have a student sitting with you while you're um, doing the conference, you know you want to only you want to be fairly brief uh, using these um, text uh, boxes to be able to write your comments in. Um, you can also type their name on here and, and the date. Um, down below, there's a, a large narrative writing checklist, and this comes from the Lucy Calkins, um checklist for, for writing. And you can actually fill in in these um, boxes uh, if they're not yet reaching that um, area, or they're starting to, or yes, they're doing that. Uh, now, this is a pretty large um, table here and you'll see in the middle of it we had a page break. If that's something that you um, can't stand to have then you can go to view and you can go to print layout. That's just a little um, something that um, you can uh, do if you like and if you don't if it doesn't bother you then don't worry about it. The other thing is uh, maybe this is too much for your document and you want to take this off. Feel free to go ahead and just highlight the whole thing and delete. It is yours to do whatever you like with, oops, it didn't let me delete my table there. So I'm gonna do an old trick I learned to uh, delete a table. I'm gonna put um, two pieces of text on the bottom and the top, and it's just a quick way to delete the whole table. So you can do that if you like. Um, I've seen it done uh, in many different ways. Now, if you're going to confer with the student, let's say you just want the simple form with these boxes. And so each time you meet with them, you want to have this ready to go. Now, I think it's a great idea is if you just have the same form for a student. So you copy this and you can even change, use this template copy and make file, make a copy and have it be instead of student conferences, um, you can have it be uh, put the student's name. So maybe it's um, for Stephen, Stephen R. And you can have that at the top. And each time you meet with him, Maybe you're not going to have the name every time, uh, but you can just go um, highlight and copy this and then paste it and then you can, um, you know, take off the name and just continue on with the date uh, for the next conference and just have it set up. Now you can even set this up ahead of time so you don't have to worry about it. Now to extend this, all you do is grab the side and you're, um, you can kind of play with it a little if you like those kinds of logistics to look, to look nice. So you have a whole collection of your conferences with Stephen here on one document by the end of the year. It's kind of a nice way to do it. Now if you change your mind, you didn't like any of this, you can of course do the undo button and takes and brings all of this back, um, all of the work that you undid or uh, didn't mean to do, um, and there we have this back. Another option would be to um,
copy all of this um, and then right below it just paste the entire thing again down below and just separate it by date. Uh, one other way that you could be using these student conferences is uh, you could um, be sharing this with their families by clicking the share button um, and click on get a shareable link and it's already copied and you can um, email it to them um, straight from here uh, where you can add people's uh, names in. So if I want to add maybe my other account, I'm going to put that in and I can add a note and it will send via email um, if I leave that checked. So I can email it directly to them. Um, let's see, what am I leaving off of here? Um, it's a great way to keep organized and uh, you can uh, refer back to this when you're doing report cards, even copy and paste some of the comments you've already taken the time to write uh, as you've gone through for um, comments on the report cards.